There is only one thing worse than losing a game of football, and that is losing a game of football to England. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. It has finished at Wembley Stadium. England 5, Ireland 0. And outside of Scotland, if there's one team that does not want to lose to England, that is Republic of Ireland. And you factor in that they didn't just lose, they got absolutely demolished. England 5, Ireland 0. No matter what way you look at it, it doesn't look Good. In Scotland, we would just never allow this, man. We would never allow England to beat us. Ireland should be ashamed. They always talk about how much they hate the English and and all that stuff. And it, they couldn't even put up a, a fight, man. They couldn't even stop themselves from getting embarrassed, humiliated. And the man responsible partly for that is the Celtic man, Liam Scales. Big Liam sent off in the 51st minute at that point. It was nil-nil, and that is when the floodgates opened. Goals from Kane, Gordon, Gallagher, Bowen, Harwood, Bellis, giving England the five goals to nil win. Now, to be fair to Ireland, they were nil-nil up until Scales got sent off, and even the goal that broke the deadlock was a penalty, a Harry Kane penalty. So it's not like Ireland were completely shite but as soon as they went a goal behind with the 10 men yeah they, they just fell apart and for whatever reason uh, they weren't able to make the scoreline respectable but now here yeah, I didn't watch the game because I, I refuse to watch England versus Ireland I just don't have any interest in this game and if I'm watching England I mean at least I need them to get beat I need them to get beat I can watch England in competitive games but I mean this nation league it's not really competitive but yeah um very disappointing, Ireland. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let, letting Scotland down like this. I mean, majority of Scotland wants to see this team lose. And all you've done is, is hand them a ticket, a one-way ticket probably, back to League A. Because I believe England will... We'll look at the table now. Well, actually, no, we'll look at some of the stats and we'll see how they they look and then we'll look at the league table. So, uh, stats... Holy shit! England 22 shots to Ireland's one. That is embarrassing. How has that happened? Ireland should be ashamed. I don't care if it was 10 men or one man. One man even. Man, not plural. That's shocking. That's absolutely shocking, man. You shouldn't be getting beat like that. That is embarrassing. Never mind booing the poppy. You should be booing yourselves. How have you lost? How the fuck have you lost? By five goals to nil. With, with, with one goal, one shot even, not a goal. Fuck, they wish they could score a goal. One shot in 90 minutes. I mean, at least it was on target. I, I mean, that's the, that's the best thing you can say about it. At least it was on target. 12 corners to nil in favour of England. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, yeah, 22 shots, England, one shot, Ireland. Holy shit, that's made me sick. I wish I didn't, I didn't, wish I didn't really look at that, man. So that's no good. That is no good, man. How has that been allowed to happen? I don't know. Who, who's the Ireland manager? He should be sacked. I don't know who it is. Probably somebody shite based on that. But, I mean, he should be gone tonight. Make no mistake about it. He can't stay. That, that's fucking diabolical. 5-0. 22 shots to 1. Awful. Absolutely awful. And now we look at the table. So, um, let me bear with me till I find it here. Because there's quite a lot of these. League C's, League B's, League A's. We want... League B. Where is League B? All oh, right. So, yeah, that's England done then. England are back. Oh, you dirty, stinking bastards, man. So, I wasn't even keeping an eye on England. But for England to earn automatic promotion back to League A, they had to win the night. If Ireland had a drawn with England, England would have finished second and then they would only be in the playoffs. So, thanks for nothing. Seriously, Ireland, thanks for nothing. Could have kept England in League B for another, you know, another campaign. They've fucked it up. They've let everybody down. That is absolute shite for them. So, yeah, there you go. England now do get promoted. 15 points. Greece, 15 points. But I'm assuming goal difference are head-to-head. -head. Doesn't really matter. Either way, England are above Greece. And, yeah, they're getting promoted back to the... 
Back to the big time, League A, so aye. There you go, guys. Didn't watch the game. Glad I didn't watch the game. Nobody wants to see England win by five goals to nil. Utter embarrassing from uh, Ireland. They should be ashamed. I mean, at this point, they should probably just join Britain because that was... <laughs> join the UK because uh, they, they don't deserve to have independence after that result, man. Embarrassing, man. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. They're owned by England, literally. So they may, they may as well. They were owned tonight. They may as well just join. I don't know. Anyway, that's it, guys. Trying to... Trying to do something, try and talk shite to keep myself occupied. Nay fitba, nay fitba. Well, there is football, but it's crap football. Here, and I love Scotland. I, I do love watching this play, but I enjoy the, the European qualifiers, the World Cup qualifiers. I, I just don't like the Nations League. It's a it's a backdoor ticket. You know, it's a, it's a brown-nosing way to try and qualify for the Euros. I, and I get it. They want it to bring this in to reduce friendlies and... I respect that, but I don't have to like it. I don't have to pretend that I think it's the greatest thing ever. I love the Euros, I love the World Cup, and I love the qualifiers, man. They're so important, but this... This crap, you know, it's, it's a bit better than a friendly, but still, it's not, it's not great, guys. It's not great. Anyway, back tomorrow, probably. See if there's any more articles. Maybe, I don't know, someone's cat. I'll be stuck up a tree, I don't know. Uh, Philip Clement's cat might be stuck up a tree outside the Ibrox. We can comment on that or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We need somebody to get sacked. David Gray. Take one for the team. Come on, David Gray. We need you here on Fog Football. Fucking walk or get pushed or do something. Do something. Create a bit of movement. Create some news. Create some talking points. Something needs to happen. I'm here by myself. Big Stevie Cool has disappeared again. I mean, I've never seen a guy disappear as often as this guy. Big Stevie Cool. He's just... Disappeared off the face of the earth. I'm sitting here with no, no football to talk about. No F1 to talk about. The boxing was absolutely shite. There, there's nothing on. There, there's, there's literally nothing happening right now. So, I don't know. We need, we need something to happen. By God. Something. Anything. I'll take it. Tomorrow. Scotland. When do we even play? I forgot what date it is. Is it Sunday or Saturday? I can't even remember. Fuck it. I'll be back for the Scotland game. Come on. Let's get stuck into Poland. Hopefully Lewandowski takes a day off or something, I don't know, or maybe we can give him some night nurse for his breakfast and he'll sleep through the game. We need something, and I'm hoping that we get it. So anyway guys, that's it, catch you in the next one, depressed here, gonna go and play the PlayStation. Do you like the PlayStation? I like the PlayStation. Well, I like my PlayStation so much that I'm gonna go and play it. Catch you guys in the next one. And here, we do have a channel called Fog Gaming. Is it great? No, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of shite right now and... I'm just trying to play through all the GTAs until the new ones come out. But the problem is, right now, I'm stuck on GTA 3. And it is literally sucking the life out of me like a mosquito. Uh, mos mos what's, what's a mosquito, buddy? A mosquito. Because it's crap. We've got Claude. We've got Claude. Some mute that just does not fucking talk. Just walks around with this dumb look on his face. Doesn't talk. So therefore you're thinking, right, well, the main characters are mute. So what they will do is they'll introduce all these other great characters that are around the mute, that interact with the mute, and that'll make the game, game, great, the game great. But no, they don't do that. They do not do that. It is the worst GTA game of all time for me, I'm 100% sure. If you don't include, if you don't include like two and one because they were like, you know, to not even the same game. They, <laughs> oh, he, he had this like uh, overhead view and aerial view, bird's eye view, and it was like literally just dots. That's all GTA one and two. Well, so that game, that game is shit. But um, nah, man, GTA three characters are all wank. They're, they're not good. They're not good at all. Um, I get it. The game was groundbreaking when it first came out, and it was breaking barriers. But when you compare it with the the GTA games that came out after, even the ones that came out not long after, like Vice City and San Andreas. They smoke all over it. But anyway, guys, that's it. Try to drag. I, I tried to drag this out to ten minutes. Did I make it work? I don't know. Have they? I've lost. I lost. Never mind losing track of time. I'm losing my mind here. I need the football back. I need Big Stevie Cool back. Come on, something happened. Anyway, guys, that's it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there'll be two kangaroos or something having a boxing match in ah, fucking I don't know, Australia down under. Uh, wherever they live and maybe we'll go and watch that tonight because there's, there's literally nothing else on. So aye. Till next time guys. Peace.